Last week, we began our journey by reading a question and a statement by one of you concerning uh, the life-changing moment of forgiveness. Um, I quickly realized that to deal with forgiveness in one week was going to uh, shortchange the subject uh, because it's a dominant theme in Jesus' teaching. Uh, last week, we, we uh, dealt with four assertions concerning forgiveness. First of all, forgiveness does not dwell on what has been done, but what is to become. Secondly, forgiveness is simply the prevailing attitude of agape love. Thirdly, a forgiving person is never called upon to approve what another has done. And fourth, to refuse to forgive leaves one with the attitude of anger and resentment, which leads to daily distancing from another and from God. Now, as I reflected on these four assertions, two experiences that I've had came to mind. First, uh, a leader in a faith community other than Christianity shared with me that the reason he and others in his faith community could not follow the teachings of Jesus centered on Jesus' teaching and life concerning forgiveness. His belief about forgiveness was that true forgiveness only occurs when forgiveness is requested. If one who has offended and wronged another asks for forgiveness, then the wrong one who is wronged is justified indeed of offering forgiveness. In other words, true forgiveness for this person is only in response to a request. Uh, forgiveness given without a request for them is simply cheap. Um, the life of Jesus who said from the cross, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do, and taught a prayer to be prayed by his disciples. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us was simply unacceptable to this person from another faith community. And I realized that if a person's God is a God of judgment, uh, Jesus' teaching and life concerning forgiveness is just not acceptable. Now this experience was clarifying for me, for it enabled me to understand why some persons within the faith community of Christians, they too have a very difficult time accepting the teachings of Jesus concerning forgiveness. For they find it difficult to forgive another who has no remorse and no regret. But my response to these who find ourselves using the same reference of our identity and faith as Christians, my response is, you know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John often present different slants and understandings on the life and teachings of Jesus. But they all agree that the two major themes of Jesus' life and teachings was forgiveness and humility. And this experience enabled me to again to understand that persons in another faith community believe in a God of judgment. And some Christians choose to believe in a God of judgment. And for them, 
Jesus teaching on forgiveness is pretty hard to swallow. Now, another experience I had was uh, with a person uh, of a different profession than my own. They were a mental health professional. We made a deal with each other. I referred to him persons who came to me with personal dilemmas and issues which were not faith-based, and I was not a mental health professional. I was not... Uh, trained or had the resources to help a person with those dilemmas. And uh, so I simply would refer persons to him. On the other hand, he referred persons to me who came to him with dilemmas that in his assessment were faith-based. And he didn't have the resources to deal with that. Most of the time, the persons that he referred to me to visit with a pastor about their dilemma were persons that had experienced issues of forgiveness. And often it was a person who had gone down the dead end street and all of a sudden couldn't move any further. There was no avenue ahead because they were trying to forgive themselves. Um, This led me to realize that forgiveness is transactional. Forgiveness is between two parties, two human beings, or a human being with their loving God. When one tries to or believes that what has happened in the past, that one has to finally forgive themselves, they experience a dead-end street, for they deny that faith is a journey of relationships with God and with others. When one tries to forgive themselves, they are at the dead end because they are denying their need for others. They're denying their need for God. Indeed, they're trying to go it alone. My mental health professional had no training or resources to deal with that spiritual dead end street. But I, as a pastor, had the greatest resource, the grace of God, which is experienced through relationships we have with others and with the God of agape love. And this relationship includes the words and acts of forgiveness. No. A gift received from others. That's what forgiveness is all about. Not an act of self-assurance trying to forgive oneself. Yep, forgiveness is at the core of Jesus' life and teaching. A spiritual journey which enables us to be released from the prison of what has been done to the freedom to engage what is yet to become. Let me let me repeat that. <clears throat> Forgiveness is a spiritual journey which enables us to be released from the prison of what has been done to the freedom to engage what is yet to become. What a gift. Let's divide the word. Flip it, if you will. Giving for is what Forgiveness is all about. 
It is a gift for another. And we all know in gift giving that often the greatest impact is for the giver of the gift, not the receiver. And so it is with the miracle of forgiveness lived and taught by the one we refer to as Jesus. You know, it just could be that the greatest act of self-care, remember the great commandment, care for others, care for God as you care for yourself. It just could be that the greatest act of self-care is to forgive. There's there's a lot to think about. There's a lot to talk about. Let me give you some starting points of that thought and conversation. First of all, does your journey of faith include a reluctance or hesitation to forgive until it is requested? Secondly, does your journey of faith include the experience of the dead-end street of trying to forgive oneself? And finally, one of Jesus' teachings was, where two or three are gathered, there I am in your midst. What is your response to this communal understanding of the journey of faith. Enjoy your journey of thought and conversation. Thank you.